What is up everyone, StonePost34, bringing back the ever popular question and answer. And uh, first, before we do that, just wanted to let you know Daniel got his game, super excited. Probably the coolest part for me is this guy's been a subscriber since almost the beginning. He remembers the OTOB videos, and if you know those, you have been a subscriber since nearly day one. Um, and he just said, hey, enjoy it. And then I gotta tell you, man, I got the coolest email message on YouTube. I just saw it today. Uh, from a guy, Steven, and he, he's told me some stuff that was, I mean, I almost started crying. He's like, man, you helped me uh, in a tough time. I'm in college now. And he went through like all the stuff and said he had suicide thoughts. And he had been away from YouTube and he just went back on and watched some of the Growing Up with Stone Post series. And he's like, you know, it just reminded me of that time of my life. But this was one of the things I had were, was your videos. And and they made me laugh and they encouraged me and, and so man that was super super cool so q a uh bobby 33425 it's up here on the screen says uh how do you know if you're in the friend zone with a girl and how do you get out <laughs> i'm guessing when you say get out you mean take it to the next level first of all let's let's deal with what we need to deal with in the beginning girls are built different than guys. Now, I'm not talking physically. That's pretty obvious. Mentally, uh, guys compartmentalize things. They, you know, I go to work, I work. I come home, I'm with my kids and my wife. And then, you know, the kids go to bed, wife watches TV, I go play my games. They don't, they don't intermingle. They just kind of have their own little boxes in my mind. And I don't, when I'm at work, I'm not thinking about Call of Duty. I'm thinking about YouTube a little bit. But um, women, it's all together. It's one big box. So let's understand that first. You know, when I was younger, back in the day, um, I kind of lived my my life. You know, I, I had several serious girlfriends, but I had several not serious girlfriends. And I always joked with my buddies, you know, I felt like I was Johnny Appleseed. And if you know the story of Johnny Appleseed, he went around planting seeds and all these trees grew and he harvested them later. And that's kind of the way I went my dating life. I was always super nice to people. I was always complimentary of looks, of you know how they treated people. I'd always compliment them. And so that's what I would recommend to begin with. Let's start with the compliments. I mean, if this gal someone you work with, just say, hey, you know, you did a really nice job on that project, or you treat that person really great. Don't miss the obvious. Haircuts, hairstyles, new clothes, stuff that's new. Call it out. And even if you're wrong, you say, you know, I love those shoes. Are they new? Oh, no, they're an old pair. I've had them for a year. Oh, I love them. They're great. You know, women pick up on these things. They like, believe it or not, everyone says, well, they like the bad boy. No, they, maybe they like the bad boy every once in a while, but they like the nice guy first. And I, I guarantee that. And I know they say nice guys finish last. And you know why they finish last? Because they don't know how to close. They don't know how to close the deal. They just kind of like, oh, well, eventually she'll come around. And that's bringing my next part up. Okay, so... Uh, we understand they're built differently. Everything's in one one world, you know, not not in little boxes here and there. So lay the groundwork, be super positive, very complimentary, and then this is when you go in for the kill. Okay? And my buddies and I used to call, you know, he's a closer or he's not a closer. This guy can close the deal or he can't close the deal. So to close the deal, write it down, I don't care. You have to lay that groundwork and then come back and all of a sudden... You know, you're super nice to him, but you're busy, and the best way to get another girl's attention is through another girl. I mean, it could be, I don't know, just another friend. And um, make yourself appear to be um, in demand, I guess is probably the best thing to say. Be in demand. And I think that'll work. You know, in the past, I would, it, it was true, but, you know, I'd talk to a girl, and, and they'd be like, oh, yeah. And I said, well, you know, I was talking to Beth last night, and like, when were you talking to her? Well, you know, after we got off the phone. And we did phone back then. We didn't have Instagram and all that. And, you know, and I was like, oh, it was fine. You know, it was cool. We just talked about this and that. And um, all of a sudden, they start to think, well, if Beth thinks he's got something special, then he does. So, and I'm not, it is a game. Trust me, it is a game. And people say, oh, I don't play games. Well, life's a game. And when I say game, there's politics to everything in life, whether that be work uh, relationships, volunteering, uh, getting what you want, you have to play a little bit of the game. And that's what I'm telling you right now. To get out of that friend zone, 
you can't just always be the nice guy. And I don't know if you guys are in school together. And you know, I used to do this. I used to help them with their homework or you know help them study for a test. I had this gal in college, Jeanette just crazy smoking hot and I made that mistake I kind of played that friend zone too much and um, I saw her out one night and she's like hey let's go out next weekend perfect well she shows up with another guy who's the idiot I guess I'm the idiot because I was thinking oh this was something a little bit more than just her uh, just her and I hanging out I thought it was kind of a date but she shows up with another guy yeah I got burned I'm an idiot so guys that is my idea on how to get out of the friend zone if you want uh, send me more questions I love this segment this is something where I can you know give you a little advice uh, elder advice I guess <laughs> but congratulations to Daniel and Stephen thanks for the incredible message that totally made my week man and uh, makes me realize why I do this so take care as always this is Stone Post 34